This is gonna be a cracker. So yesterday night, I realized why I was probably running so poorly. That's that right there. I forgot to plug this and that goes right onto the intake manifold. So it's probably just sucking in a whole bunch of unmetered air through right there. So I'm gonna uh, put the exhaust on, swap out the oil, because this is still the oil that was just that's been in there for who knows how long. It doesn't actually look that bad, but I'm gonna swap it out anyways. And what else we got? Clutch fluid. This thing's still gonna be super loud because it has like four exhaust leaks right now. There's one right here where the EGR came off. If I ordered a plug for that, but it's not here yet. And then it doesn't, this flange doesn't mean like, there's a massive gap there just because it's been welded so that with the, uh, when the turbo manifold's on here and that downpipe, then it, it works for that. But this one's a different angle, so huge leak there. And then I don't have the uh, uh, wide band in right now. But I plugged that hole and want to run it again. Hopefully it runs a little better this time. Oh, of course my battery's gonna be dead. So I'm gonna have to try and find a new exhaust because the way it is right now, the flange is like completely offset. So there's a huge gap on the one side. So it's gonna be super big leak for now. But uh, yeah, I forgot to plug the charger in last night. So the battery's dead. But I got it hooked up to the Subi. I haven't even showed this car, I don't think. I'll give a quick, quick little tour. So I bought this thing so I could go snowboarding. It's all wheel drive, can fit like five guys in there. It's not bad, got it for super cheap. Roof racks. All right, let's see if this thing starts. So I feel like it's probably the mass airflow sensor. Um, I thought I could just use this one, but maybe not. So I'm gonna swap, wire, rewire this for, to the stock one and then put the stock one in. So I couldn't make it work with my little short ram intake I made there. So I gotta use the greasy stock one, unfortunately. But I unplugged this and hooked that guy up. I don't even know what it's for, but uh, yeah. So I got this thing set up for a compression test, just because I'm curious. So I got all uh, the spark plugs out, the fuel relay in the back pulled out, and this guy on cylinder one, so pedal to the floor. One sixty like two. Almost 180. 165. Not bad. <laughs> All 
All right, so I had a buddy come over and bleed the clutch with me. Uh, we put the hood on, lowered it down on the ground, and we're ready to go for a test drive. 